Hello everyone, Michael Rose here, BMW Genius at Patrick BMW, located at 700 East Gulf Road here in Schaumburg, Illinois. And uh, thank you for joining us today for the second of our monthly model clinics. Uh, just so you know, BMW of uh, Schaumburg is going to doing this for uh, our 40th anniversary. We've been in business for a really long time and we want to bring you guys overviews on our various models, talk about some of the features of the car, some of the design elements, um, and hopefully inject some knowledge into your brains. Today I'm really excited to bring you the 330 X-Drive. This is a 2021 car. Uh, MSRP on this particular car, 44,935. And I'm gonna talk you through some of its equipment, uh, some of the features that are available on this model line, and what makes this 3 Series a 3 Series and uh, one of the best BMWs. Uh, so starting up front with this car, we notice our distinctive kidney grills. Now these are absolutely signature for every BMW, and these particular grills are actually an active grill system. So when the car reaches certain temperatures, uh, the little slats in here, these are gonna open up, provide additional cooling, keep the engine nice and cool for any high performance driving you might be doing. Speaking of the high performance driving, let's talk a little bit about the power plant of this car. So this is BMW's two liter, turbocharged four cylinder. It's a twin scroll turbo, allowing for a very smooth power band and a really great delivery that ties linearly with your right foot. Uh, this makes 252 horsepower and 248 pound feet of torque uh, and is plenty to give this car a lot of pep. Three series have always been fun to drive, sort of the king and originator of the sports sedan. Uh, and this car fits the bill absolutely. We'll also notice these headlights. Now these are the standard headlights. These are full LED headlights with daytime running lights. Uh, we also have a fully available laser headlight package as well. Super, super nice. Keep off the hood. So just taking a peek under here. And we note the twin power turbo. This is what I was mentioning earlier with the uh, twin scroll turbo technology. Again, very smooth linear power band and uh, all that great gas mileage that you really want out of a, a nice small sedan. So moving around the side of the car, this is one of the wheel choices that we have. Uh, there are several available for this car in its various trim levels and uh, run flat tires are uh, an option for most of them. And you can get summer performance tires on some of the wheel choices as well. Uh, definitely awesome for uh, sporty driving. Coming around the side of the car, uh, on the door handles, this particular car does not have it, but there is available comfort access keyless entry uh, where all we do is tap on the door handle and that's going to get us inst into the, instantly into the car just with the key in our pocket. And then around to the back. Let's take a look at this trunk. Hold on. So as you can see, nice big trunk, nice low load floor, and the rear seats do indeed fold down 60-40 to get some larger items in there. Quite practical. Now onto these taillights, these are full LED taillights. And then below that we have a standard dual exhaust. And this exhaust is modal, it'll be a little bit louder in your Sport and Sport Plus modes and uh, provide a little more character to the car. So now we're gonna take a look at the inside of the car, go over some of its features, and I'll meet you in there. All right, folks, so let's get this started up. Wonderful. Now, we'll notice a pretty similar interior layout to uh, pretty much all the BMWs, um, very current in the model range. Now this three series, this current generation is the G20, and this was new for 2019. So it's been in production a couple years. Uh, and honestly, this was sort of the first one along with the X5 to bring this sort of interior layout uh, into the brand. And it's, it's a really nice space to be uh, pretty premium for the price point. Um, now, 
with various features that we could have on this car as this is a bit more of a base model um, we would start with the active driving assistant now this would replace our, our standard cruise control that we have here on the left and that would in integrate the uh, sort of adaptive cruise control and then you can use the active driving assistant around town um, to sort of do uh, uh, an assisted driving with a lane keep assist now, in addition to that, down here, uh, we see our a uh, little bit of a blank button here. Now, this is going to be our parking assistance package that is available on this car. Uh, what that will do is give you access to not only your 360 surround view, but also the uh, park assistance. So the, that would allow you to self-park the car, uh, both parallel and regular spots. It's a really, really nice car, um, and or it's a really, really nice feature, rather. And uh, that would give you a little bit more convenience, especially downtown in the city if you live in an urban area. Now, this particular car is featured with the black Sensatec vinyl. There is also the beige Sensatec vinyl that's available as, and uh, an Oyster as well. Now, you can upgrade to the Vernasca leather, and that is going to give you the option of uh, a black, a cognac, or again, that Oyster gray. Moving to the screen here, we have uh, our standard iDrive 7. Uh, again, this is one of the first cars to have the iDrive 7, and uh, it's a really, really nice system. All 2021 cars and above are going to have standard Apple CarPlay, and then if we were to upgrade to the premium package, uh, that changes our dash here. So uh, this is a screen, so it's a full digital display. However, if you get the premium package, it removes uh, this uh, bezeling here and gives you just a full un uninterrupted screen, much like some of the other cars in our lineup, such as the X5. Now, when you do that, that also gives you a bigger screen here on the dash and the ability to use Android Auto with the car. Important to note that Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for the 3 Series are going to be um, wireless. So no, no, no cables, no nothing. You just get your phone paired up um, and then you have unrestricted access to all of your apps, contacts, everything like that. Uh, this button here is going to be our safety features. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we do not have the active driving assistant package on this car. So were we to have that, we would actually have all of the available safety features that BMW offers from uh, the forward collision mitigation, lane departure warning, side collision intervention, um, your lane keep assist steering, steering intervention function. Uh, so th this particular car, again, is a base model, uh, just has that forward collision mitigation and lane departure warning. But there's lots of equipment that you can get if safety is a priority um, to really get the full suite of features that you can possibly have. In addition, just some normal stuff like your dual zone automatic climate control, fully adjustable for both passengers as well as settable in the rear. And then down here we have our various drive modes. Uh, so Sport and Sport Plus is going to give us a lot more responsiveness. Comfort is going to give us our sort of most balanced mode. And then Eco Pro, that's going to give us our, our best gas mileage. Um, in addition, you know, touchscreen. And this is also navigatable via the uh, pad here. Wireless charging and digital key are two other features that are available on this car. Again, uh, not on this particular one, um, but what you can do is you can get a, a wireless charger that sort of fits in here. Uh, lay your phone down, depending on your case, it'll charge it right up for you. And that also comes with the ability to have a, a digital key, which is similar in size to a credit card. You pair that up with the car and it allows you to use that as a key instead of having to carry around your expensive key fobs. Really, really nice feature there, and it's good for those with active lifestyles trying to go to the gym or hiking, uh, and they want to travel light. Um, so what I'd like to do is we'll go back to the outside of the car. I'm going to talk about the rest of the 3 Series lineup, um, their features, and, uh, you know, all that. So as I mentioned before, uh, the 3 Series has a full lineup of cars. Uh, this 330 is going to sort of be the entry level for the 3 Series. Uh, we've also got above that, there's the 330e. Now this is a, a wonderful vehicle BMW has been making for a few years now. Uh, this is actually the hybrid 3 Series. And the best part about it is the ability to drive it fully electric around town. Um, and it also, believe it or not, gives you a lot more power than the uh, base model 3 Series. So they're quite sporty as well. And for the, most of these cars, all of the same options are available that I had went over. Um, you can get that active driving assistant, you can get that parking assistant, no matter what trim level you choose of the 3 Series. 
Um, now again, the three series hybrid, it's uh, this same four cylinder engine with the addition of an electric motor. It provides up to 30 miles of a pure electric range and can get well into the 40s as far as average miles to the gallon go. Really, really nice choice for people looking to maximize economy. Above that, we have the M340. Now the M340 is the classic six cylinder BMW sport sedan. It's powered by the B58 uh, single turbo inline six. Now this makes 382 horsepower. Um, obviously this is not that big of a car and the M340 is actually a, a rocket. It's super fun to drive. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best cars in BMW's lineup. It's the right size, it's the right amount of power, it's the right amount of aggression while still being subtle enough to not get tons of attention. Uh, again, this car, the M340 is available in the rear drive or the X-Drive all-wheel drive and offers a really, really fun, engaging driving experience. Now, if you want to take it a step further, then we have the M3. Now, as many of you know, BMW's M division is uh, our performance car division. They take these cars, thoroughly make them over, um, they adjust the engine, the suspension, the transmission, and they really turn it into something special. The M3 sits atop the three series range as the most aggressive, most sports focused three series. It's powered by the S58 inline six, uh, makes 473 horsepower in the non-competition trim and 503 in the competition trim. Now, what's special about the non-comp cars is that they can be had with a six speed manual, whereas every other three series is uh, standard with the ZF automatic eight speed torque converter automatic. Um, really, really nice cars, and uh, the 3 Series, of course, is one of our longest standing vehicles and uh, one of the cars that really put BMW on the map. Uh, so again, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, I'd like to open this to any questions that any of our watchers might have. You talk about the maintenance package. So included with every new BMW, you get three years and 30,000 miles of free maintenance. Uh, this includes things that your car will remind you of, brake pads, oil changes, uh, vehicle check inspections. Uh, it's a really, really nice feature, especially if you're a lease customer. Um, you can lease a BMW for a three-year term and it's pretty much worry-free. Uh, we're going to cover all your maintenance over that period of time. What's the next model for next month? Next model is going to be a 5 Series. It's 530i specifically. Uh, that's going to be the first week of August on Wednesday at 5 p.m. And uh, yeah, really excited to bring you that one. I love 5 Series. I, I drive one myself. <laughs> Anything else you think you missed with trim levels? Any recommendations? Any? Um, I really like 3 Series because uh, you know they're 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 personally my BMW that I like liked as a kid, right? Um, I love sports sedans. I've always driven sports sedans. I think it's the best best of both worlds in terms of uh, something that is fun to drive and engaging, but also really usable. I mean, you can move your apartment in this thing if you really want to. Um, as far as how I would option a 3 Series, I would really like uh, an M340. Um, I like unique colors, so I would probably go sunset orange with the oyster interior, so orange over gray. Uh, and I want to keep it rear-wheel drive for some of that slidey fun, even though, you know, we, we live in Illinois. <laughs> All right, how about if you give us a rev of the engine and you get a, a nice little takeoff Perfect. and we'll call it a day. Thank you so much, guys. Once again, join us the first week of August for the 5 Series. Um, my name is Michael once again, and uh, I'm coming from Patrick BMW, 700 East Gulf Road. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and uh, please stay tuned for more.